I went for my driving test last week. I've been saving for a Ford Focus, and so far, I've got 50 pounds. <laughs> so I thought, seeing as I'm so close, I better get a license. <laughs> my mum reckoned that I wasn't ready, but I was like, what do you mean? I had two lessons last year, and I've been down the fun fair practicing on the bumper cars. <laughs> Anyway, I booked my test and I turned up raring to go. I was dressed to kill. I had on my red leather Versace skirt, pink boots from Dolce & Gabbana, and my blue vest from New Look. <laughs> well, you got to mix and match, you get me. I had to look good, just in case the driving examiner was buff and might want to go out with me. Cos then I killed two birds with one stone, eh? That's right, I passed the test cos he likes me, and I get a boyfriend with a Fiat Punto. <laughs> anyway, this old guy comes out of the room with my provisional license and asks me if I'm Tanya. I says, well, that depends on if there's any examiners under 85 around. <laughs> I don't think he took that very well, but I didn't care cos I was vexed. <laughs> I wasted £300 on my driving test outfit, and this guy was proper old. <laughs> His glasses were so thick, I'm sure he could read my mind. <laughs> anyway, we goes out to the car, goes out to the car, and I couldn't believe it. I'm doing my test in a beige Nissan Micra. <laughs> I was like, what are you thinking? Don't you know I can't be seen in that? <laughs> it hasn't even got alloys. <laughs> I'd rather do my test on foot. <laughs> but the examiner, he wasn't having none of it, so I decided to get the test over and done with as quickly as possible. I was proper whizzing down them bus lanes. <laughs> and he goes to me, do you realise you're not supposed to be in the bus lane at this time? <laughs> I was like, I know, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> And anyway, this ain't my car. You're the one who's going to get the fines. <laughs> anyway, the, the examiner, right, he tries to get me to do a hill start, yeah? But I was like, what for? <laughs> there ain't no hills in acne. <laughs> then he goes to me, when I slap this book on the dashboard, I want you to do an emergency stop. He slaps his book and I carry on driving, yeah? <laughs> he goes to me, why did you stop? And I'm like, do you know where we are? <laughs> we are outside the Marcus Estate. This place makes Broadwater Farm look like Ascot. <laughs> if I stop here, this micro will be in a box on its way to Nigeria before you can say 3.10. <laughs> you think I'm gonna do the rest of this test on Lagos High Street? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All in all, I thought the test went quite well, though I was a little bit annoyed that when I got out the car to fight with a bus driver, <laughs> the examiner didn't back me up, you get me? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> we get back to the test centre and my examiner told me that I'd failed. Well, he didn't actually tell me. He called four security guards for backup <laughs> and then texted me from inside the building. <laughs> it wasn't all bad, that wasn't all bad though, because one of the security guards was proper fine. <laughs> he looked like 50 Cent. Well, 50 Cent who ain't been to the gym for a few years. <laughs> and he gave me a lift home. And guess what? He drives a Mondeo. 